Brian Konitsko, co-creator of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Hi, I'm Mike DiMartino, the other co-creator of Avatar. Hi, I'm M. Night Shyamalan. I'm the director of the motion picture, Avatar, The Last Airbender. So, Knight, how did you first learn about Avatar, The Last Airbender? Um, actually, from my daughter, who's seven, and she was obsessed with this show, but I really didn't pay attention to what she was, you know, obsessed about. She's like, oh, this is this show after? I'm like, okay, honey, we're gonna go out, and it's on again, it's on again. And I was like, okay, okay, I'll put it on for you. And then for Halloween, she wanted to be Katara. And I'm like, she, you know, that's what she, she wanted to be. And I was like, what is this Katara thing? And so she told me all about it, and we had to like look it up and all this stuff. Still, it hadn't hit. And then one day we were in um, the video store, and, and she said, can we, oh, the first season's on DVD, can I get it? And I was like, okay, she really loves this, let's watch. So we, we all had dinner and the four of us watched it. The whole family sat down and watched it. We just kept watching the next episode, the next episode, and we came up in the kitchen and, and I opened the fridge up and I said, this would make a great movie. And then everybody was like, yeah! <laughs> so that's how it started. Awesome. So Nate, what attracted you to want to make the Avatar live action movie? Um, the martial arts were, was a big thing for me. I really was looking for something to do where I could do cool fighting scenes and everything, and Avatar had such a beautiful way of doing that. And the supernatural with all the elements, that's another huge thing for me. And then it's kind of based on all this Eastern stuff, you know, with the, kind of the reincarnation of the Avatar. It's a really beautiful, beautiful uh, ideas behind it. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons why I wanted to make this movie. What do you think about that? I think that's great. <laughs> so you've seen the first two episodes of season three. Are you excited for the rest of the season and the finale of Avatar? I, I can't wait. We've been watching the first two over and over and over at our house here, and we strangers come in and they're like, what's that? We're like, no, it's nothing. Don't look at that. And we every time we get a free time, we put it in. It's just so exciting. So we're just dying. We're completely devoted to the show. So how do you guys feel about a movie being made about your show? We're really excited. Um, Brian and I have been working on this story and this series for about five years now. So to see it kind of go into this, this new realm and, of live action and the level of detail and to have you involved is, is very exciting. We always strive for a really cinematic look on the show. <laughs> And I think, um, you know, doing it in TV, it's always a challenge. It's really hard. So it's going to be great to see this story and these characters taken to their fullest visual potential. Are you a fan of any Japanese anime TV shows or movies? Actually, um, I'm a big fan of Miyazaki movies, which I know you guys are yeah. really influenced by in our family. We really, we really love those movies. In fact, he's like one of my favorite film directors. He's amazing. So what are some of the challenges visually for translating Avatar from an animated TV show into a big, you know, huge live action movie? Well, when you guys write a scene and says, oh, it's the North Pole, and you know, you just, you just, you can do that, that we gotta go and be in like Arctic weather for months on end, I'm gonna be cursing you guys. It's gonna, <laughs> it's my, my wife, I'm like, I'm telling my wife, we have to go and live out in ice, you know, because the movie is about water and that's where, it was set, that's where they wrote it. It was, oh, I mean, as, as I'm writing, I'm like, oh, and my pen is like stopping as I'm writing North Pole. And, <laughs> so thanks for that. You're welcome, <laughs> anytime. So the three seasons of Avatar is roughly, you know, 30, 30 hours of story. Right. How are you gonna condense that down into, you know, a trilogy of six hours or, or so? Yeah, it's been, it's been really hard for me because I really love what you guys did and, and I'm finding it really hard to let go of anything. And, and at, at first when I put, um, you know, the outline together. I showed it to you guys, and it basically had every single thing you guys wrote. It was a seven-hour movie, and, I was, and you guys were very sweet and said, you know, you're gonna have to take out some <laughs> stuff. And I was like, no, not that, not that. But I think I've gotten to the place where I really know um, how to bring in the characters and, and what characters we can save for the other movies and what moments we could save for the other movies. So it's really starting to take shape into a, a two-hour movie for me. And I think that'll happen for each of the three movies, I hope. <laughs> Who's your favorite character in Avatar? Oh, that's, that's an easy one, it's Zuko. Zuko is uh, um, the most interesting character, uh, you know, that relates to me and just kind of that whole, you know, 
he's a good guy. Is he a good guy? Is he gonna make the right choice? Is he gonna go over to the dark side? Is he gonna, you know, is he gonna be, you know, what we hope he can become, a hero? Or is he just gonna be the enemy? The, you know, the enemy at the end of the day that has to be put down. That's really, that's really just a very exciting storyline. And um, I just think he's the coolest guy. He's my favorite too. It's cool. So Knight, any ideas on casting yet? You know, actually, the, the kind of the, the the weird thing when I think about, you know, who I'm going to cast in the movie is, you know, they're probably going to be mostly unknown kids and and teenagers, and then right now they're in school somewhere. They're they're you know they're in class and they're hanging out with their friends, and you know, in two years from now they're going to be Ang and Katara and Zuko, and they're going to be world famous, and they're going to be. You know, their lives will never be the same, but they're just sitting there kind of writing the answers to their test right now. <laughs> well, if you don't find any for anyone for Aang, I'd like to suggest perhaps I could, you know, maybe play him in the movie if you're if if it's, you would consider that. I, 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 I will I will consider it. Don't don't call me about it. I'll, okay. I'll I'll just think about it for a little bit a little bit longer. But it you, <laughs> you know you're really talented. You're really talented. <laughs> You spoke about Lady in the Water being inspired by stories that you had made up for, to read to your kids. Um, are there any more stories that you think you might create for children in the future? I, I hope so. You know, we t I tell a lot of stories to my kids, and there's a lot of kind of stories that I think would be really great for a kind of a younger audience. I mean, I've always kind of gone back and forth between kind of like the scarier movies I make for the adults and, and the kind of the kid movies because I wrote Stuart Little, mm -hmm. which I, you know, really enjoyed that process. And now I get to do Avatar in this, in this kind of wonderful mix of different genres for me. So I feel really excited about spending, you know, I guess the next six years making these movies for a whole, you know, generation of, of kids around the world. It's really, you know, exciting. And hopefully after that, I'll, I'll keep doing that kind of stuff. So, you know, the, the, the really cool thing for me is that normally I, like, you know, close my door and I'm alone and I, you know, write my movies and it's just the most lonely, depressing process that anyone could go through. And on this movie, I got you guys <laughs> to be depressed with me. <laughs> so this is such an exciting thing for me. And even, you know, we've just started, but I've gotten to, you know, hang out with you guys and talk with you guys about the movie and how about this and how about that and, oh, can you bring in the bounty hunter? You know, all these questions I have for you guys and in you know, the emails we send back and forth and it's just been super, super exciting for me to kind of think of making a movie where there's three of us kind of working together, figuring out how to tell this story. Is this going to be something um, new or interesting for you now that you're uh, going to be moving from like the making a show on TV and kind of thinking and helping me make you know, a story for, for the movie theaters. Yeah, it's really exciting for Mike and I. We've been doing animation for, for several years now, um, but we're really interested in live action, huge fans, and I think we admire your craft so much, and there's gonna be so much to learn just by collaborating with you and, you know, coming on the set and uh, just everything. So we're so excited, yeah. It's, it's, it's been a great experience, as you said, so far, just in the few months that we've started working on the outline, so. Oh, it'd be cool. I can't wait to have you guys on the set and, yeah, you know. Really looking forward to it. Definitely. I might even let you say action one, one time. <laughs> I appreciate that. That'd be great. Can, Can I, I say cut? <laughs> yes, cut. action and then cut. <laughs> on. Just once, though. <laughs> All right, guys. What happens at the end of season three? Serious? That's sweet. That is going to be sweet. So, Knight, as you know, Avatar has a lot of fans all over the world. Anything you want to say to them? Oh, um, you know, this is the first movie I'm directing. Um, that didn't come from an idea of mine. And it's um, really the first time ever I felt in love, you know, w to the point where I was like, I'm going to give my life for, as it turns out, six years to this project. And um, it, it really is going to be everything to me for the next six years. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a life passion. And, and in, in many ways, it would be um, 
maybe the biggest thing that I, that that I, I'll ever do. Well, we thank you for your enthusiasm and appreciate all your hard work, and we look forward to the Avatar live action movie. Hey, and thank you guys for making the the, the, the coolest mythology I've ever ever seen. Thanks. Check out Avatar only on Nickelodeon.